this works and I don't know why I don't do it more often. I wasn't recording. Just kidding. How are you doing? Good. How's it going, man? <laughs> good. good. Good to see you. Welcome to New York. I'm having a great time in New York. I haven't yeah. been outside the studio yet, but <laughs> inside here has been great. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first time we get to see outside, even though that's 100% uh, artificial. <laughs> Still kind of neat. Uh, great having you here, man. Great having you on my channel. Thanks so much for doing this. No problem. For those of you who no don't know, Mike Boyd, Mike runs a channel called Learn Fast or Learn Quick. Learn Quick. Learn, Learn quick. quick. And basically, Mike, in his own right, and I'm going to be bluntly honest here, is a magician because he puts time and effort into impossible possible things. Uh, the only kind of difference is, and Mike's going to explain that in a second, is that you get to see him do it. And these things include things like a, what do you, what do you juggle, a unicycle, muscle ups. Yeah. Uh, he broke a glass with his voice, all right? Just, <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Neither did I. Until so uh, tell me a little bit about your channel. Yeah, so the channel is, uh, it's a really simple concept. It's just a choose a skill from, from uh, a knowledge of, of absolutely zero. And then um, I record the process of me learning that skill, whatever that is and then just edit it into a nice digestible five minute video. And basically the video encompasses all the struggles and triumphs of learning something from scratch. Um, really simple concept, but you know, it can be a little bit of work. Yeah, well, it's, it's frustrating <laughs> at times, but that's also what makes it really cool is that like Mike's just a dude learning things. Yeah. And I think a lot of people can connect with that because it, it shows that gap between seeing somebody do something impossible and not being able to do anything. You kind of fill that blank in for a lot of people. So yeah. I think it's uh, really inspiring. <laughs> Mike, today you said you're going to teach, uh, try and teach me something today. So this guy sent me a cool skill and it's learning to stack dice in a cup. Doesn't sound very interesting or useful, but first time I seen it, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that this was possible. Just like that. You make that look so easy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I put in a lot of hours, right? I put in a lot I of hours. I feel like I can do that <laughs> just because it looks so easy. So it's like just, it's a really simple mechanism. There's no magic to it. The, the dice skips up here. You collect it in the glass. Like centrifugal force. Yeah. Holds it. So with a little bit of practice, you can easily stack a tower of four using the cup, right? With a little bit more practice, you can do it in one fell swoop. When you get good, you can stack four like that pretty fast. <laughs> On my channel, the challenge here was to stack a tower of four on top of another tower of four, which is a considerable jump up from that there. What do you mean, you wanna put these four on top of that? On top of this? Yeah, and it took me a long time to do it, and trust me, there's a lot of outtakes to this, uh, and it was a painful experience, but eventually, we managed to get this tricked out. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Just practice. Holy cow. So what I want to see if you could do is I want to see if you could do- I'm not doing that. No, I think, can, <laughs> I think we can do three today. Okay. And maybe four. And once you get really good, you'll be able to do the four in like- Four in one, one swoop? <laughs> yeah. So I've been, I've been looking at your hand motions and I've been noticing that like, like this, and you kind of like have this flow, like- Yeah. Wait, look, you grab it on this end or on this end? So like actually, once you get super good, you can- uh, you can pick them up with either, <laughs> with either swipper. That feels like a superpower. <laughs> so, but I think that this would be such a great thing to do in your magic. Yeah. So you should definitely learn how to do it. Okay. So, like, before you, I <laughs> oh, got it. He's got it. He's got it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, here we go. Okay. Now just slide them on the ground. Okay. So oh, you, you had it. You oh. had it right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the first time I've ever tried it. <laughs> yeah. That was it. The only, the only thing is, is uh, once, Slide it once they're here, yep. you want to bring it like out to here. Yep. Okay, obviously right. those are going to fall. And then you want to slide, right? And what that does is that presses the dice up against the side of the glass. And that's why they come out in such a nice uh, right, let's, tower, let's, right? let's start with three. Yeah, three. That's it. And slide. Oh, so faster slide. Okay, right? faster slide, faster, faster slide. Faster slide, yeah. faster slam. Ah, he's got skills! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, let's do four. Let's do four. <laughs> you know what? You'll find four easier, right? You're going to find four easier. Oh, really? Um, there's more weight? There's less space in the glass to go oh. wrong, right? <laughs> okay. I was being ambitious there. I was being a little bit ambitious. I got ahead of me. I'm getting excited. Okay, we got dice everywhere. So we okay. got, right, we want a tower of yeah. four to call it, right? So hold on. Let me make this a little bit easier for you. Straight them out like that? Yeah. When okay. they're straight out, they, they just kind of go in the cup. It. 
Oh, no, no. Yeah. There's a hole in the glass, I think. That's why. <laughs> so when I was learning this, right, I was doing it uh, on a, on a, like a really hard table like this and on laminate floor. So it's just mm. like oh, all day, every day. Is that why you were in headphones? That's why I put on headphones. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't stand the noise. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to just do everything you're doing, um, but just a, a little bit more uh, relaxed. So it's not so okay. it's not so aggressive. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Oh no. Yeah. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm going through <laughs> Mike's pain that he's been through when he does these videos. All right. So right, here we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. Right. Oh! You just beat my time by like six hours, man. But wait. <laughs> On the first take. <laughs> Are you going to try and do the stack? I'm going to okay, try so and do the stack. Let me give you some, yes, some tips before you go. So the, the motion to get it onto the stack is like a tipping motion. Uh -huh. So like the dice are in here and you want to just like tip them on. You right. want to bring the glass all the way down to there. Okay. So like so imagine, the pressure. Like, imagine the dice so are like here. here. You want to be like, you want to be like that. And that's the difficult way, it's the accuracy. So, so you're here and... Yeah, you tip it right on, yeah, okay. <laughs> here we go. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> okay, you do this. You add the motion right though, the tip, right? Okay, now... Alright, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna give this some practice. <laughs> Um, but I want to show you something as well, Mike. So thanks for teaching me that. That's so sweet. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I surprised myself, to be quite frank. Um, I want to. I want to show you something using some dice. But first, I want to talk to you about dice because dice and magic is 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 used as prevalent, obviously, uh, because you find them in casinos. And even these ones are casino dice. Yeah. And uh, you can kind of you can kind of have a look at that. That there's a little serial number on that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And these serial numbers were actually used uh, because. So let's say you're playing at Tropicana. Okay. Right? Well, the t these uh, would actually be either etched or, or burnt, branded into the dice, and they would be yeah. switched out every hour. I wondered what these were. Well, they would be switched out every yeah. hour because it would uh, it would prevent people from switching, bringing in loaded dice. Nice. Okay. Um, but what cheaters would do is they would have them made, loaded, and they would have a little branding thing in their car, and the guy at the table, he would be like, oh, they're playing on number 049 right now. Right, okay, and he would yeah, yeah. brand it in, they would bring it in for an hour, rake up some cash, and leave the, leave the casino. Wow. And that's how they made money with these things. And I'll give you an example. I've got some cheap loaded dice here. These aren't like high quality, but I found these just to give you an idea. And this is a really clunky version of loaded dice. These aren't really good. Uh, but just to give you an idea, of, look at how wobbly and weird these are, right? Yeah, they don't... Uh... No, yeah. So these are made to fall on certain numbers, right? Okay. And that's, that's what a sort of a loaded dice looks like. They're a little bit fishy and wonky, right? But the idea for dice is that as long as you have a small advantage, even 60% versus 40 versus 50, 50, you know what I mean? So if you have that, then you eventually will be making money. So it's always to give uh, somebody a bit of uh, a bit of extra edge. And there are also dice. Uh, these are mostly used in like private stuff. Uh, a lot of dice switching, right? So if you have a dice here that I want to bring in and I go like this right on the table, then I've switched out the dice successfully. Obviously these are two different dice, but look at that dice. Every face is a five, right? So you've got different dice here. This one is a normal one that you can have switched out for uh, for one of these or one of these. Uh. So this one only has twos and sixes on it. But I'm gonna try something not with casino dice, not with loaded dice, not with crazy anything. I'm gonna try them with a dice from my Monopoly game. Uh, you can have a look at it, examine it, make sure. Keep keep me honest here. Yeah, I'm always watching Chris and he's always up to something. So what I'm gonna this ask legit, you to this legit seems like a it's it's a legit day. dice. Yeah. No, I'm gonna, get to here's it. what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. We talked about casino, we talked about cheating, we talked about making money in casino. So what I'm gonna do right now is if this was possible in Vegas, you'd you'd probably end up like being filthy rich. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna have five rolls in a row. Every single time you roll, I'm going to I'm gonna guess and tell you what you rolled on without me seeing it. If I can do that five times in a row. Yeah. That would be a legitimate hustle. So that's like five, that's like uh, one over six. Yeah, yeah, five. six times five times so four times three five. times two times <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, that would be the odds. Yeah, so yeah. pretty high. <laughs> okay, well, pretty unlikely. Yeah. Pretty unlikely. So <laughs> let's try it starting now. Okay, so I just roll it and... Roll it, hide it, make sure I don't see it. Okay, right. Make okay. sure nobody's giving me any signals right, whatsoever. Go on, go on. All right. 
So, uh, tell well, the first camera. one's a three. Yeah. Yeah. Roll it again. <laughs> so I'm gonna show the camera first, right? Each time. Sure. A four. It was a four. All right. Do it again. <laughs> so now the odds get a bit scary. Just a one. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna tell the camera this time in case you're seeing my sure. uh, my gestures. So one again. Nah. Okay. <laughs> All right. My last time. I think this is last time. We go the four. <laughs> I get it every yeah. time. You know what? I, <laughs> you know what I even did to punk you a little bit. What's is, that? Um, I kind of let it bounce off my hand, sure, yeah. so that you that would add another level of, uh, yeah. of like guesswork. But that was fucking sick. Good. Uh, <laughs> is that, is that something you want to learn? I would. If you could teach me how to do that. Um, <laughs> Off camera. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. As a magician, my channel's a lot different from Mike's. We do teach a lot of basic magic and a lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of tricks and that type of thing. But uh, there's some things just too good to teach on camera. All right. Uh, thanks so much, man. It's been awesome. I'm still perplexed that you managed that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Five times in a row. Well hey, you taught me something. I'm going to teach you something. Guys, go subscribe to Mike Boyd. His channel's amazing. You probably already know about him. But uh, I'll leave the link below. Go check him out. Give him a like. Give him a thumbs up. All that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Taught Mike uh, how, to do, how to do this trick, and he's and he's losing he's losing his mind right now. So we're gonna roll, and nothing set up again. This isn't set up. What is it, Mike? I think it's a six. It is a six. <laughs> <laughs> Try one more time. See three in a row. I guess it's another thing. Yeah, it's another thing. <laughs> Last time. I think it, this one's a three. It is a three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> that was cool, brilliant. Right? Good. <laughs>